Alrighty, as always, let's play this in full first. There is sound. Halfway through. I didn't come in from Stupidsville on last night's bus. <laughs> last night's bus. Okay, hold on. Is this the camera? No. He has a bit of a ambient move there. I think generally. I didn't come in. The ideas are there. I like that accent there. It also works in terms of composition. We are in our third. She is in the right area. Compositionally, it works. The eye line is a bit funky there. Gets a bit better ish. A bit weird. A bit low again, a bit, almost a bit to the right. And then there's nothing here. So watch out for the eye line. My thing here is that this, I think, personally, I would give this a bit more time where we can see a bit more in the face. Right now, she turns around and it feels like she's going for a head shake, maybe. This definitely works in terms of a broader move because we don't see her face. But then watch out, it's ever so slightly... I can't even draw a straight line. <laughs> it's ever so slightly uh, twins there. And I wonder, my thing is, I want, is there anything we can do where it's a bit more, just a bit more quote unquote original? I mean, it's easy to say and really hard to do. You have to do all the work. But if I would approach this shot, to me, it would be, you don't have to look at him. I mean, that's okay to be already disengaged, but something where it's a, it might be from some emotion to another emotion or something, a bit more of a change through there. Also, this is, again, fairly straight in default. So think about how does she feel right now? Because this just feels like a, the default rig pose with the arms brought down. Is there anything you can do in your posing? She might just finish off from a gesture or, you know, be a bit more leaned in and just something. And then she leans back. Something a bit more pose-wise that will tell us something about the character. And then this, instead of that... I mean, it could do something since this is already here. Imagine she goes back and she's just so exhausted and angry that it's more that she leans on this where her hand is on this and she would have something where it's like, oh, I can't believe that, you know, we're talking about this and blah, blah, blah. And get the lean on that hands, on the shoulder, a bit of a nicer line of action that and then she can still bring that arm down into a turn to lead into this. Now, that being said, I know you're turning this way, and I was going to say turn this way. But again, these are all very destructive notes. I'm just thinking out loud. This is what I would do. Something like that, at least. I didn't come in from stupid. And then watch out from a from a technical point of view. That doesn't quite feel like a weight shift there. It feels like a straight line there on the root. I see changes in the hips, but then it just kind of stops abruptly and then moves to the left, and it has that arc through there. It just feels a bit like this. I think that could be worked on a bit more in terms of the body mechanics where let's pretend you're keeping all of this where it also has that just a very straight rotation in there and i would go with a bit more of a weight shift turn and then with a slight rotation that goes into a translate for a weight shift then into a turn that might be led by the arm or the chest or more of the head and you are leading with the head here that's that's okay it just has that slight feel of all of this here is moving as one here, that rotation. To me, I will break that up a bit more, a bit more side to side. Just on that moving over, step over. Then into this, you want to feel the root going up a bit more. Then it can go back down and then back up again. Just a little bit. And this is something that almost turns Italian there. It's a gesture, but... Again, I'm wondering, at least something like that. It's, I, at least it's not your typical arm up, fan out gesture. It's, it's helped by the hands, by the fingers there. But again, I'm wondering if that could be something a bit stronger. Than just that. Again, this is usually not done like this. So I like that. It's a bit more original than usual gestures. But question for you, would you... Would you be able to explore that a bit more? I'm in from stupid. Not that you have to act out the words, but it could be something where it's like she has 
maybe the hand on the head. It's kind of not tapping the, the temple, but something where it's like on the head and then hold on. My webcam is turned off. I was going to act it out. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to stop this and I'm going to do a part two so that I can turn on my camera. Hold on. So and then she goes stupid. Stupid. Instead of just doing that, it could be something where it's like stupid. Like she, not just like, like you're an idiot or something, but something where it's a bit more like you're stupid. But then, like it's it, it's almost a mix of that being stupid and then going into a gesture. Like that's what I'm imagining. If, instead of just doing that arm uh, fan out type of thing, that's more common. Again, I do like the fingers. But what if we explore that more? And what you do with the fingers there is at the end. But you start like stupid. Well, you might do this and then get into that. And then into this, that's kind of what I'm imagining there. Stupid spell on last night's butt. I do like this one still. I like that. Nice butt. I'm gonna take my camera off here. Nice butt. Nice butt. I feel like the accent on the head. Nice butt. But again, I feel like it could be then more incorporated into the body. Like right now, it feels mechanically how it just kind of translates in a straight way, and it kind of stops a bit of a harsh stop there. You don't quite feel the stop it up as one leg stops that movement and there's a weight shift and the root goes up a bit and it could be something where you involve the shoulders and arms a bit more this just feels a bit like it's just one big piece here moving where most of it is done in the head again not saying you have to do a gesture but it could be something a bit more involved that's nice but that's bus where, where again if she could lean forward a bit more with arms back and then come back into that position just something where you, you want to break this up a bit more and involve that into your acting moment so it doesn't feel like, again, default, default, parallel, twins, and just kind of moving over, if that makes sense. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.